Namaste, my YouTube family. This is Agala Magica with Tree of Life Spiritual Coaching. I have a great pleasure speaking today with uh, a monk, yes. Kim Yasara. Kim Masara. Kim Masara. Yes. Uh, we are in uh, Myanmar, in a monastery where he has been studying for how long? Seven years, you right said? Now, yes, I have lived in my monastery for seven years. Seven years. I would like to share a message. Yes. Um, with you and I'm very grateful for this opportunity so if you could tell me more about your life your experiences as a man your education and the message you have to humanity in a Western world okay right now I'm going to I'm going to explain you uh, you mean about here yes about this morning so yes about monk life. yes okay about humanity yes okay right now you can see in my monastery there are so many Buddhist monks living here over 1,200 monks living here. Uh, everyone, we are all students monk. Mm -hmm. Because we have a final examination every year only for monk. That's why we study Buddhism, sacred chant in our monastery every day. And now we usually take meditation every night. Because uh, we, we are all Buddhism monks. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't have any job. Is it a Tibetan Buddhism that you study here? Is it Tibetan Buddhism? Theravada. Theravada. Mm -hmm. Theravada. Theravada. And who is the teacher? Who is the founder of this monastery? Uh, yeah, we have a leader monk before. He is the main founder for this monastery, you know. Uh, his name is Ashen Janaka B. Wensa. Mm -hmm. Right now he's a pathway. But he is very famous in Myanmar. Everybody knows him. Yes. yes. We saw his little museum and a statue of him earlier. Yes. True. Uh huh. And you said that he has written a lot of books, a lot of guidance, right? Yes. For monks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if we want to live here, we have to follow his rule. His rule is just a ten rule. Um, but that rule is more popular in Myanmar media. More okay. Famous in, in, okay. In Myanmar. Uh, it is called, you know, to have. Go Heart is the first. Yes. You understand what I mean? Yes. To have good heart is the first. Um, because we have, we have to follow ten rules, but if we want to live this monastery, we have to follow just first one rule. Mm -hmm. Because if we broke first rule, we cannot live with his monastery. We have to change other monastery. Okay. And what are the ten rules that you mentioned? But, uh, it is very difficult to explain for you. But I know uh, every rule, but very difficult to explain for you, I'm sorry. But second rule, you know, we have to follow our morality. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. And you mentioned here that um, uh, no killing, no stealing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you mean, uh, if we want to live monk life forever, mm -hmm. we have to follow four rules. Four rules. Yes. First, we don't sexual pleasure. Mm -hmm. No sexual pleasure. No sexual pleasure and no stealing something, and no killing human being, and then don't talk about each other. Close no gossiping. To, mm -hmm. Close to or not close to, or we have a higher level or we don't have a higher level of animal banana. So, uh, is it okay to say that the rules are mainly about purifying the mind mm. and expanding the heart awareness? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. If, if we want to have a uh, pure mind and peaceful mind, we need to care for everything. It is called mindfulness. Mindfulness, mindfulness is exactly. more than in Buddhism society. That's why we need to do one thing. It is called mindfulness. This is exactly what I teach my clients so to bring awareness to the body yeah. and uh, also monitor the thoughts. Yeah. If you monitor your thinking, you can eradicate certain uh, patterns of the mind that are not useful for heart expansion. Yeah. Um, and you said you have lived here for how long? Uh, because uh, uh, we have a final examination every year only for monk. That's why mm -hmm. if we want to live monk, uh, if we want to learn about Buddhism sacred chant, we have to learn and we have to live in a monastery 10 years or 11 years. After I finish examination, after if we if we want to do Buddhism teacher, we can do Buddhism teacher here or in the same monastery. Okay. And then if we want to do meditation teacher, we can do meditation teacher here or some meditation center. Okay. We can choose something. Okay. We can do everything because we have a nice freedom in Buddhism. And then if we want to change normal life, 
We can change normal life too. We can do everything. So it's 10 to 11 years of studies and then you can choose to either become a teacher, a scholar or a meditation teacher or you can also live the monastery and have a normal life. Maybe for me, just a personal feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. For me, maybe Buddhism teacher or maybe meditation teacher or maybe I can change normal life because um, monk life is a very, very peaceful life, you know, but very difficult to live forever and for a long time because we have a 227 morality, that's why. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, that's why monk life is very similar to, you know, easier said than done. Yes, exactly. Uh, it was very interesting because you approached me and we connected, we started talking and I told you that I teach people mindfulness and meditation. I meditate every day for sometimes two, three hours, it yeah. depends. And when I work with clients, it's always meditation, always clarity and emptiness. So sometimes it's even five Five, six hours you know if I have two three clients mm. so I'm very connected to the idea of uh, being removed from stimulation from the outside mm. to to find clarity you know because in clarity and purity of the heart you find answers you find pure ways to help to grow mm. and if you have a regular life a commoner life you constantly bombarded by different things it's mm. it's more difficult to find that space inside <laughs> that's why you know it's necessary to have isolation for a time being you know but it doesn't have to be the whole life it can be like in your case seven eight ten eleven years and then you're already trained to be a monk even if you walk a normal street yeah. yes <laughs> So tell me, uh, how, why did you choose the monk's life? Was it your personal decision? Um, because, you know, our country is a Buddhism country, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the people are believe in Buddhism. That's why we have a different tradition and we have a different culture in Buddhism. That's why every family, if they have children, they have to do ceremony, you know? After finish ceremony, after our family, our teachers usually send to ceremony with their children, like novice and like Buddhism monk. Someone they cannot live in monk life for a long time because we have a 227 room. That's why. Yes. Usually live in monk life just a few times, one week or two weeks or one month or one year. After they usually change to normal life. Okay. Someone they can live in monk life for a long time like me. That's why they usually live in monk life for a long time forever. Everyone is different because different people different like it is called different stories and different thoughts. You know. You told me you are a very eager student of. Um different branches of Buddhism. So you basically went through the initiation and through the initial stages. A lot of people, they don't make it. So what you're saying is a lot of young men, I don't know if the girls too, but uh, I don't see a lot of girls. Maybe they have a separate monasters. Yeah, they are none, Buddhism. None, but okay. They also, their life is very similar to mine. Similar, okay. So you're saying that since this is a Buddhist country, a lot of young children go through the process of uh, trying to become a monk, but they don't last very long. Only some last, yes? yes? Some so you have a choice. You can always choose to live. Is yes. that correct? That's okay. That's right. Are you the only one in your family that stayed for seven years? Or do you have other uh, members in your family that yes. also are monks? Yes, because, uh, for example, right now, I have a four brother, no sister. Mm -hmm. I have a twin, you know? Okay. I have a twin. I'm a twin. Twin brother. I'm a twin. We are very similar to everything, but we have a different life and we, we live a different place because it, um, different stuff and different folks. That's okay. Why he cannot live monk life because okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I can live monk life for longer. That's why I'm here. My brother he lives in my hometown. My hometown is Bagan. Bagan. Yes. That's where I'm headed next. Yes. So uh, before we finish this uh, short um, interview, what would be a message um, for you to the Western men, of the, uh, people in the West? You told me you love America, you love people from Europe because they're open-minded, right? Yeah, because I think, uh, in my opinion, you know, I think uh, open mind can make uh, respect and friendly and lively. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, yes. That's why I like very much American people and European people and South American people and African people. But I don't like too much with people who are Asian. Okay. Because most of the Asian people are 
too proud. If they have a higher level, if they have a lot of money, uh, mm -hmm. they, nice mm -hmm. they are too proud. And then they don't have too much open mind. So they don't have enough modesty and humiliation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But someone okay. is good, someone is bad, they are everywhere. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's great. So that's a beautiful message that people in the Western world, in Africa, you said Europe, they're open-minded, right? So as long as they direct their mind in a way that is uh, heart-based, yeah. it's a good place, mm -hmm. you know, they, because they come from a place of like less boundaries, mm -hmm. less restrictions, less judgment. I think judgment is not a great tool for um, evo evolution and evolving in a positive way. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, in my opinion, uh, I would like to give for Western people uh, like pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, if the if you if you really want to peaceful, you need to practice. You have to practice love and kindness and compassion and cleanliness and equanimity. Equanimity. Yes, we are more important in Buddhism society. Right now, I'm a practicing them. Okay. Because I have to be more peaceful mind. Exactly. Kindness, compassion, loving kindness, right. anapana meditation, right? Yes, mm -hmm. That's why I usually take meditation two times. Two times. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Namaste. Um, and let me just show really quickly the monastery here. This is where monks live. Yes. This is, these are the quarters. Yes. So you can see 